Discord community. Good morning. I hope everyone had a wonderful evening. Well, you got to watch your Walking Dead. So, I sure did. So you were, you were happy. It was kind of a boring episode, if you ask me. It was a boring episode, and I did not like the way that they treated Daryl. Well, he's still alive, so at least... He's still alive, but I'm going to go, and I'm going to find Negan, and I'm going to kick Negan's butt. Uh -oh. Because I am Carol, and nobody messes with my Daryl. So today, uh, I'm going to uh, look at the upstairs hallway. So, and that's going to be a lot of no fun. So I'll drag you guys along because I may ha need some uh, advice. Why are you, what's so bad about the hallway? The, s the ceiling and uh, the, the walls have a texture coat but it doesn't go all the way down the wall it stops at the stairs so the question is can I remove the uh, old texture or do I have to put more texture going all the way down to the floor because right now it stops and it looks weird and they had put some really awful um, door frame um, trim at the at the the transitions. Whoever did it is really an idiot. He put all kinds of weird stuff together in there. And I don't know why, but it, it looks awful. It all needs to come out. And I'm being stared at. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> as soon as the camera's on, I'm easel. I was me. I didn't do it. <laughs> Well, do you want my advice on the stairwell? What? I think you sand down the texture and just leave it <coughs> untextured. Because if you come all the way down the stairs with the texture, then you're going to have to... Well, no, you can just texture that one wall. It's it's just the one... It's just half a wall that needs to be textured. Then, it, then I would do that. That was my plan, but I don't know how to do that. I It's a, a dry application... So, um, texturing. I'll sh I'll show it to you guys and see if any of you have done this before. Talking to you, one blazing eagle one. Um, I don't know. This might be just some bizarre American thing, but uh, it's definitely from the '80s. The '80s was all about bizarre Texture. textures yeah. on the walls. I'll show you some of the stuff uh, they did in here. It's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the challenges that I have coming up with the rest of this house. Um, got my light on here. So I have this incredible texturing. It's, I have it in the dining room and I have this bizarre thing that was built in the middle. I did not do this. This was done by the previous owner. It's not very well made but I, I don't plan on removing it because he textured around it. So if I remove that there will be flat roof underneath there. So I'm going to leave it. I might do some uh, repair to it and paint it but uh, yeah very strange so in the front room uh, we have a lot of bizarre stuff we have this drop ceiling which was very popular in the 70s but I've never seen such a long drop ceiling usually it's only about a foot out uh, two feet out but it looks like this guy used an entire sheet of drywall because he didn't want to cut it so it's four feet wide and uh, it's really awful then he put the uh, crown all around, including underneath the drop ceiling, which, which ran right in the door tops. Looks terrible. Um, painted everything uh, a horrible brown, which I haven't dealt with lately. And because uh, I wanted to get rid of all of this stuff before I painted, and uh, that would, you know, that way I'm not spending money twice on paint. Uh, and. Uh, Here's where I'm heading. So, uh, this wall is relatively flat. It's hard to see because it's just this horrible brown. And then there's this texturing on the wall. Now, I, 
in theory, I understand how it goes on. It, it just uh, uh, applied uh, quickly with uh, a spatula, a sort of a dry mix of drywall, and it just kind of splatters on. And uh, they put a uh, this border all the way around, and it ends underneath it for some reason. So, really awful. Then we have this. It's a little shelf on top of the stairs. Here's the stairs. And uh, it kind of might be interesting, you know, put a plant on it. It would have to be a fake plant because it's very dark in this hallway. And then this terrible texturing. Who came up with that idea? And he put one by ones all the way around the side. Really awful. So. That's what I need to deal with. So there's so much of this texturing on the wall that I want to leave leave it, just paint over it. But I need to texture the bottom half of just this one wall right here. So, uh, and maybe this one wall will be the same color as the hallway and the rest of the, the room might be different. So it's sort of a bizarre delineation. But we'll see how that works out. The roof is killing me. So somebody, he actually removed the uh, acoustical popcorn, uh, but he worked around a, a fire alarm. Didn't bother taking it down to, to uh, get rid of it. And then there's this just awful drippy crap on the, on the ceiling. It all has to come off before I can paint it. And, um, that means serious scraping and sanding. So, a lot of work. I don't, not looking forward to it. Probably your butt. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got all the staples and nails out of the carpet, but be careful. up the stairs. Kevin's getting my wheelchair now. I know how he's going to want to put me down the stairs. He's just going to want to put me in the wheelchair and let me go. Would I do that? That's what you want to do. How do you know? How do I know? I know my husband. Oh, I see you took that down. I started to. It was very hard. Well, this is looking very, very nice. And you got metal shelves to put in the closet? Yes, I'm going to put in metal shelf, the, you know, the, the basket style the, mm -hmm. that's a little bit more modern. And then there's, you still got to paint the popcorn. Yeah, the popcorn, all depends on whether I have enough paint. 
Otherwise, I'm just going to ignore it. Now, when we bought this house, we knew it was a fixer-upper. Yes. And it's taken me all of this time to get to it. I mean, we painted both of the rooms up here before. Uh-huh. But we never did a, you know, the best of jobs because Megan wanted to done fast. Right. So, you know. We got a touch up in there, but we're not changing yeah, the color that, in there. That's just a clean up, and I'm not going to worry about that later. Yeah. Right, so, look at this. I knocked this off the, the ceiling. Mm -hmm. It was stained at one time. So all that wood that was on the ceiling was supposed to look like some sort of bizarre wood treatment before someone painted it this diarrhea brown. Now, in order, I tried to see if I can scrape some of this off, mm -hmm. and it isn't going to happen. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, and I don't think I can do match the uh, texture. texture, because I just, I don't even know if anybody knows how to do this anymore. I'm going to have to build a, um, a scaffolding in here. Yeah, so we can get all up in there. So I have a couple of two by fours and some three quarter inch plywood. I'm probably going to attach it directly to the wall. And um, so that I have a platform to stand on. So this is a lot of work. This little tiny hallway room is going to take me quite a bit of time. Well, you better get working. Well, you got a tour of the disaster I have to deal with for the next month or so. It's exciting. Exciting stuff. Lots of scraping and sanding. One month. One month. You give me one month? One month. To what? To get it all done or just the hallway? Everything. Okay. One month. I have faith in you. <laughs> you do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I'll have to drag you up and you can help me. Oh, and I got her back down, by the way, in one piece. I didn't just push her down like she said I was going to. He wouldn't let me film it. <laughs> so. Anyway, guys, we're going to call it a night. I think we had a full day. I'm so bored. Out of my mind. You get away from my food. Go lay down. So bored out of my mind, guys. Okay. Anyway, if you enjoyed anything you saw in the videos today, please give us a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment, all that happy, crappy stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bye.